Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Patterson. I'm the owner of a company called Powerhouse Investments LLC, where I teach and show people how to trade currencies within the foreign exchange market. Today, I have a helper helping me hold my whiteboard up until I get an easel tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, basically, yeah. So today, this video is going to be about maximizing profits in the foreign exchange market. Um, the way that we maximize profits as foreign exchange traders, or if you don't know what maximizing profits is, is basically when you are already in a trade and you have one position on the trade, but then you actually put in more positions to, like I said, maximize your profit. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do this today with the correct way or how me and my team basically maximize our profits on one trade to make more money on the same trade, right? So everybody knows or should know if you're a beginner, I'm going to tell you that every time you get into a trade, you automatically going to start off in red because of spreads. Spreads are the fees that the broker takes from you in order to get into a trade, right? And so after those spreads, sometimes you have something called a drawdown, which is like this red area right here. And drawdown is basically like, we can't control the market. We can't control, you know, if it hits stop loss, we can't control if a trade, you know, is gonna hit TP or when it is gonna hit TP, but we can't capitalize off of the fact that, you know, trades are in the negative or at that moment are not going in the direction that we want them to, okay? And the way that we do this is when you have drawdown, right? When you 10 to 15 pips in the negative, right? In the negative, when you're 10 to 15 pips in the negative, you want to pop another position, right? So, or and when you have, when you one third of your way to your stop loss, so say your stop loss is 30 pips, right? When you one third away from your stop loss, you wanna pop another position, right? When you two thirds away from your stop loss, you want to pop another position. Right, so if your stop loss is 30 pips, 10 pips will be another position, then 20 pips will be another position. Now, if you go another 10 pips, then that means you hit stop loss, unfortunately, right? But say your stop loss is 50 pips, right? So one third of 50 pips will be like 12, nope, more than that, 15-ish pips, 15, 15 or 16 pips. Um, When you 15 pips, in the red, you want to pop another position. When you're 30 pips in the red, you want to pop another position. And then, you know, you got your 20 left to go. Like I said, it's around like 15, 16 um, pips. You want to pop your, another, your, your, your positions, right? And what this does is this gets you... So your first entry point is right here, right? The, the first trade that you enter in, that's in the black, even if you can't see the words necessarily. The first entry point is right here. Now you have two more entry points that are down here. So now... You know, when your trade starts to go up, you see your first entry point is still in the red. But when your trade finally starts to turn around, assuming that it's not hitting stop loss, and this is for a buy. I didn't put like a sell um, example on here, even though I should have. But position three, right? It starts to go up, right? When it starts to go up, that means you're in the, in the, in the blue on one of your positions. Then you got position two right here. That means, you know, you're in the blue again on two positions. you blue on two positions. So you might probably red on your first position, but you blue on two more positions, what could actually mean that these two positions that you popped um, later on when you had drawdown on your first position, you could they could even be balancing out. So you might be, say, negative 10 on your first position. But on your position three, you positive um seven and on your position two you positive three so now that basically just canceled out but had you only did your first entry point position you would have been negative 10 so this is why we basically use maximizing profits right um and we don't do it when we are already in the blue a lot of times unless you know how to um um look for pullbacks because think about it if i got my entry point right here and then i pop another random position right here there's eventually going to be pullbacks within the market or drawdowns, right? So if I pop another random position right here, it might, you know, it might be in the positive. Or if I pop a position right here on the top of this trend, it might be, you know, a little bit of positive or blue screens, but then it's going to come back down for the pullback. And a lot of new traders, when they see pullbacks and they see red, they get out of the trade, 
right? And that's not maximizing your purpose. You want to get in. If you want to buy, you want to get in on either drawdowns of your first entry point or higher low. So this is a higher low right here. If you haven't seen my trend video, that's like one of the first like forest YouTube videos I make. So you might want to scroll all the way down and look at the video on trends, but you want to get in on a higher low. Like I said, if you like miss, you know, your drawdown positions and you didn't pop any more or like a, you just want to get the you you just want to get the drawdown positions because like I said, those are literally the best times to capitalize on your product on your property. And I already explained how. So now after you know the market goes past your entry point, you got three trades running in profit. Right? You got three trades running in profit. By the time um you even get to your entry point, when you get to your entry point, that means your profit on your first position is zero. And then you might have, you know, profit on position two might be five dollars and profit on position three might be ten dollars when you get to your first entry entry point that you had your position three you can put your stop loss in profit you can put your position two your stop loss in profit so now you secure some profit in the market and now you're even going dang you just gonna make me fall like that really you trying to sabotage me you're almost there <laughs> but even your um position both of y'all, you know, drawdown positions are going to be a profit. You put your stop loss in profit. You secure profit. And now you're going into the blue for all positions. And then, you know, just take it to there. Take profit one. Take profit two. And then take profit three. And then one little side note that I want to make on this video. A lot of the questions that I get asked is, you know, say, you know, you are a part of a team already. You got take profit one, take profit two, take profit three. You cannot put all of those in at one time. So what will happen is... You can either do multiple positions, right? You can either do multiple positions of the same trade, kind of how we're doing here, or you can modify your stop loss with each take profit. So whenever you notice that your take profit one is approaching, you could modify the changes to take profit two. But what you could also do, you have three positions. So your position three that you pop, which is the one that's going to make the most profit because it has the lowest entry point and we're in a buy you know you want to buy low and sell high so your position three is the point that you bought the lowest so for your position three you can put that as take profit one your position two which is the middle one you can put that for take profit two and then your first position right your entry point your first baby you feel me your entry point you can set that for take profit three and all of them might come out with you know equal amount of profits just because Yo, position three, you set it for take profit one, but you also got the best entry point on that position three because you bought the lowest, right? So, um, yeah, that's basically it. This is how we maximize profits in the foreign exchange market. Now, also, one more thing I have left to say, do not let maximizing your profits on a certain position have you over leveraging, right? Um, I did like a risk management video, a couple videos back. Um, sometimes I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Sometimes this dude does cause me to over leverage a little bit, but never trade money that you cannot afford to lose. Don't trade your rent money, don't trade your gas bill, your light bill, your money for your baby birthday shoes. Don't do none of that, right? You cannot be emotionally detached to the money that you put into the market because it's going to cause you to even trade even worse. You might feel like, oh, I'm risking it just to you know make some money but no 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 no. you're going to be too emotionally attached to the money say you get in on this entry point right here you'll see some red and you get out now you sick because everybody in your group they can take profit three but you got out in the red not even knowing that it was going to reverse and come back up so you messed up you're the only one in the group didn't make money now you feeling sad now you want to quit because you got out of the trade too early and everybody else is making money and you not so do not be emotionally attached to the money do not over leverage do not have maximizing profits have you over leverage and if you do please be able to afford to lose money i'm not saying that it's a good thing to lose money i'm not saying that i don't be feeling messed up when i lose money i ain't saying none of that i'm all i'm simply saying is make sure all your bills is paid Right, make sure this is extra money on hand that when you take this out the market, you're putting it into a savings account or getting ahead on your bills, not 
putting yourself behind because yes there, this is risk you can make money as well as lose money the same amount you, you hear somebody with a story of how they you know made a hundred thousand dollars they probably lost twenty thousand before they made that hundred thousand so keep all that in mind um like comment subscribe to my channel my video is gonna start getting better and better i already got me a light i'm so happy i can make videos at night time now but yeah and see y'all tomorrow